Hello everyone, Mr. Science Mover here. I recently watched a video by YouTuber Akotak explaining how Pokemon Emerald was beaten in 1 hour and 21 minutes using a glitch known as Arbitrary Code Execution, and it reminded me of a few other videos I've seen. This video by Abisoft and this video by Carl Jobst discuss how Ace, as it's known, can be used to beat both Paper Mario and Ocarina of Time by skipping to the credits sequence. While all three videos do a good job of explaining, and I would definitely recommend you give them a watch, I like to try my hand at giving some more concrete and digestible examples. To me, Ace is a lot like Updog. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, where is this going? But if you hadn't heard of this before, you'd ask me, what's Updog? To which the response would obviously be, nothing much, what's up with you? This conversation is essentially arbitrary code execution. We don't tend to think of our actions as code, but for right now, let's say, my first comparison boils down to Ace is a lot like X. That will lead to one of two responses. If you know what X is, you'll ask how, to which I'll respond with the answer, and the conversation continues as normal. If you don't know what X is, you'll ask what's X? This is where the arbitrary code execution kicks in. Say X is a noun, like Ace is a lot like Baffle Cab. I just looked that word up, so I know what it means. But you'd probably say, what's baffle gab? And I would know what you're saying, because there's no other way to construe that noun. But remember that theoretically X could be anything. I could say Ace is a lot like this mess. If I tried to say that out loud, you'd probably look at me funny, but ultimately might still ask the question, what is that? Of course, I wouldn't then have a response for you, because that doesn't really translate to English. But Let's instead set X to the five letter sequence U-P-D-O-G, which we'll pronounce updog. Then you'll ask, what's updog? Here's where we execute our payload. The point of this joke is that you thought I said a nonsensical term, but upon executing that term and asking me what it is, you unknowingly executed a different piece of code, one that asked me how I am. Thus, the only response for me to give is, nothing much, how about you? As a human, you'll step back and say, oh, haha, ha, very funny. But if a computer were undergoing ace in such a way as this, it really wouldn't know any better and would likely continue to tell you about it today, despite the fact that you were just talking about something completely different. That's arbitrary code execution in a nutshell. Of the three instances I cited earlier, I think the Pokemon ace is the easiest example to explain more concretely, so let's stick with that one. First, we need to get ourselves into a state where the game will be able to execute data that we've seeded. That is, we need to be in a position where we have the game interpret our proper noun X as common English. The way we do this, in this particular instance, is by fainting every Pokemon in our party except the last one, which we leave with 1 HP. Then we feed it a Pomic Berry. These berries are designed to raise friendship while decreasing health. However, if we use the berry at 1 HP on our last Pokemon, it drops to 0. When we next enter a battle and try to select a Pokemon, if we scroll up from the cancel button, because we have no Pokemon remaining, it will scroll into whatever happens to be above your team in memory. Fortunately for us, that is precisely box 2, slot 24 of our PC. So, we set up beforehand by putting an Abra there. When we execute the glitch, our pointer will scroll into this chunk of memory and assume that it is a party Pokemon, since that's the menu we're in and that's what should be there. But when the game looks at our Abra, it realizes something's wrong. This should be a party Pokemon, but it's somehow in the box. In all of this, the game rightfully assumes something went wrong somewhere and flips a switch that says, this data is corrupted. Unfortunately for the game, that's exactly what we're counting on. By doing this step, it has forced our box 2 slot 24 to no longer refer to a box Pokemon. Whatever was at that location of the switch that was flipped has been changed. In all this confusion, the game ultimately gives us a bad egg. You may have seen these before if you're particularly experienced with a game shark or an action replay. Bad eggs are never meant to be hatched since the data inside them has been corrupted and doesn't necessarily point to a Pokemon that can be hatched. In our case, we have selectively trained our Abra to have 6 extra attack EVs and 17 HP EVs. If you don't play Pokemon, just know that these are Pokemon stats that we can control by choosing how many and what type of Pokemon we fight. When we hatch our bad egg containing a corrupted Abra with our specific stats, we now witness greatness.
what you just saw was the manifestation of video game Updog. The player hatched an egg. The game looked at that egg and said, hmm, hey egg, I need to show a Pokemon hatching from this egg. Do you know what I should show? And the naughty corrupted egg said mischievously, oh yes, I know. You should show the very real Pokemon that is contained inside of me named The Credits. And the game responds, okay, I'm showing The Credits. And the rest is history. Big shout out to the three videos I referenced earlier, and especially Akotak for bringing this glitch to my attention in particular. I'll leave all three of them in the description for you to check out, as I think we all have our own individual way of explaining this to give you a fuller picture. Anyway, that's it for me. Until next time, have a good one everybody.